Hi everyone. Okay, so got myself a bit of a bargain on eBay. Uh, it was an open box HP Elite Desk um, Mini, and that's a uh, G3 Kaby Lake seventh generation uh, i5 processor. Uh, so I'm gonna do do a little open box. The reason why I'm doing this is because I did a, a generation one a couple of years back of this Mini, and I was really impressed with the machine. And it got quite a bit of uh, attention on 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 YouTube, uh, so it got quite a few views. And I was just doing a RAM upgrade, so I thought I'd do an open box on this one, just so because um, I've got I, I've got a feeling this is going to be a great under the TV entertainment system all in one um, rival Raspberry Pi. It's like a Raspberry Pi Deluxe, I would say. Certainly goes completely in competition with Apple's uh, Mac Mini. Similar size to a Mac Mini. Uh, so there she is. Uh, so you can see Core i5 there, um, seventh generation. Uh, now on the front, we've got USB C, um, USB 3, USB 3, headphone jack, and it looks like a second headphone jack, or no, that might be headphone in, so it might be speakers in or something. Um, power button there, and then on the back, um, we've got um, display port there, full size. We've got three of those, and I thought there was going to be HDMI, but there isn't a HDMI in there, so I'm surprised at that. So. I'm going to have to be looking at for a display port adapter. Now I wonder if we've got one in the bag here, in the box. Doesn't look like it. No display adapter, display port adapter. So um, maybe because this is an open box, it's missing. But I don't have any way to hook that up to a monitor unless you've got a display port as it is. Um, so we'll be looking at getting an adapter for that. Um, so how do we get inside? Um, let's have a look because I had problems with this last time, didn't I? I think it was just a firm. <laughs> so I don't bother looking at instructions, that's my problem. <laughs> there we go. Right, so it's actually not back, it's forward. It probably mirrors exactly what I did last time, and off it comes. So, standard. Um, Two and a half inch hard drive there. I'm going to take that one out. And put this one in. And this is a uh, two terabyte uh, SSD. And this is a 256. So suddenly storage capacity has gone up. Uh, is it easy to get to the RAM? It looks like it's a, uh, yeah, so it's SO dim. It is easy to get to, this fan just lifts up, so that's quite easy as well. Uh, there is a spare RAM slot as well, and it's got an 8 gigabyte stick at the moment, it's DDR4, being a KB Lake, and it looks like, without taking off the CPU fan, that the CPU is a standard slot as well, not embedded, so we should be able to change this up in the future if you wanted to change it to an i7. Um, so this has got the Intel HD 630 um, graphics and there's plenty of videos on um, YouTube showing that running some quite powerful games including like Battlefield 1 for example. It may not be playable but well I think people are saying it is playable but in my opinion you kind of like want to be playing games like that with over 30 frames per second for sure if not more more the better. But for general use, I reckon 4K out, um, perhaps you could run this as a like an emulating station. Uh, that's kind of like what I'm going to have a go at doing. So I may do some future videos of this working as like an entertainment system underneath your television. My little surprise though was there's no, <laughs> and it is a bit of a kick in the teeth for me, that there's no HDMI. So that's a bit sad. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you found this interesting. And um, yeah.